all right guys in this video we're gonna turn this 30 dollar usb microphone from sounding like this to sounding like this and we are using obs we are not using any special plugins we're using the audio filters that come with obs and another cool thing we're gonna do we're gonna compare it to the shure sm7b which is my main microphone that i usually use which is a 400 dollar microphone if i add the interface that i use which is the roadcaster duo that's almost 800 dollar worth of audio investment and this 30 dollar mic is gonna beat it so let's go all right just a little quick if you're wondering this is the Fafine K669B USB microphone is a $30 microphone. Sometimes it's even cheaper when it's on sale. So we're going to go to OBS. Right now I have OBS open and I'm going to show you all the effects that I have on. But before we do that, I'm going to give you some things that you have to consider when doing this because just the effects, you want to make sure you get the microphone gain right before you add the audio filters, okay? Because you want to avoid clipping and all the other potential issues they may run into all right first you're gonna go to your system tray and go to the speaker icon right click and then go to open sound settings and then you're gonna go to input and you're gonna see your microphone so if your microphone is not showing make sure you choose microphone usb pnp audio device which is this microphone that we're using right here and then go to properties and then make sure the volume is around 60 60 seems to be okay for me for my voice I scream a lot. If you're not a screamer like me, you can put it around 70, but between 60 and 70 should be really good. All right. So once you're done, the next thing we need to do is you want to go to the actual microphone. And as you can see, it has this knob here. This is for the volume. So you want to make sure you put it around 75 and 80 percent. Okay. 75 to 80 percent on this knob here so as you can see this is where i have it again depending on how loud you are this is gonna work between 75 75 to 80 percent okay now next up okay that's like the beginning okay so right now what we have here in obs already add the microphone if you don't know how to add the microphone you can just hit the plus sign and go to audio input capture name it and once you name it, you can go here under devices and find it. So it's going to show up as microphone USB PNP audio device. I don't know why they called it that way, but that's it. So let me go ahead and delete this because I already have it here. All right. So now I have it and I'm going to show you the next thing you need to do is you're going to go ahead and go to audio mixer under audio mixer, go to advanced property because when you're adding filters you want to make sure you can actually hear what's going on listen to yourself and monitor yourself now because this is a usb microphone there's a tiny delay it's gonna be distracting a little bit but you have to be patient because that's the only way you can adjust it once you're happy with the way it sounds you can do a quick recording listen to it so basically you do monitor and output and then you listen to yourself but once you're happy with everything you can go ahead and turn monitor off and then close it and then just keep recording so i'm gonna show you the filter so what you do usually you go under mic and then you can right click to it and then go to filters okay and these are the filters that i have added now i'm not gonna start adding each filter one by one if you need the full preset i can actually export and send you this i don't know how i can send it but i'll probably find a way but it's easy so the first one obviously you go to the plus sign and then choose gain and then let me disable everything here just so you guys can hear what each filter sounds like okay so first one gain okay so once you add hit the plus sign and then choose gain it's gonna show up here so i added around five percent okay so again let me monitor it here so you can hear everything all right so i added again around you know just 0.5 db the next thing this is just to boost again because sometimes with the settings here you can see that the signal is kind of low the next thing i added is a compressor okay so now for the compressor i didn't do anything much so basically the compressor is to make sure anytime i scream the compressor is gonna push me down if i talk low like this it's gonna boost me okay I didn't change anything i just kept the uh, default settings okay the microphone is already kind of compressed and it has a few effects that come with it so it's not that bad once you have your gain settings set right you should be fine and then i added what we call a limiter this is like a safeguard just to make sure i never go beyond a certain point so again you hit the plus sign and then add the limiter okay 
so now as you can see the limiter i put the threshold at minus 2.2 you can push it to minus one usually anywhere between minus one and minus three it should be good all right can do a little more but for me minus 2.2 seems good okay so basically a limiter is like my microphone is never gonna go beyond minus two okay that's the limiter the next thing i did is the more you add stuff the more you're gonna have some noise you know when you add like things like again when you add things like eq i'm gonna show you how i added the eq even the actual microphone may may have a little bit of noise and you need to remove that so what i did i added a noise suppression now i tested multiple ways of removing noise including noise gate but noise suppression seems to work better and then for the method i chose rn noise which is good quality and more cpu usage so i clicked to that and it just removed a little bit of noise that i had it wasn't that bad really and then the next thing that made the microphone sound really really good it was this one right here which is the vst2 plugin all right so click to it and as you can hear the sound is changing completely so this is a eq so which one did i choose if i click to it i choose the rear eq okay standalone all right and if i open it this is what it looks like okay so i'm gonna close it and i'm gonna show you some of the things that i had to tweak okay so basically you click here let me disable it you click the plus sign and then you add vst to plugin and then you click ok and then you go here you choose the which one you want okay so for me i wanted a little bit of eq and that's the one that i chose so it was re uh, eq this one right here okay again i don't need it so i'm gonna go ahead and delete it once you have it added make sure it's enabled and then you can go here where it says open plugin interface and i'm just gonna go ahead and open it what i did i did a little bit of tweaking okay you can copy my settings but what i did you can see i have this band here this is the low shelf this allows me to add a little bit of bass so you can see that i boosted it to 6401 okay so this frequency right here right i made sure it was here so again depending on your voice you can tweak it to add a little bit of bass so basically you move it from here and then you go up and then i tweaked there was a frequency here that was causing some issues so i added one frequency here and i lowered it completely because it was bringing in some white noise and then i added the high frequency i boosted it because the idea is to have like the highs a little high and the lows a little higher so it can have that bass but also have like the sweet you know highs and then the middle usually tend to be a little muddy it doesn't sound that great so i kept it around here so you can see this frequency right here i kept it around here so i just again you don't want to do too much you don't want to do it too much again you can play with these things guys but the idea is to boost the lows and boost the highs and try to remove any frequency that's not sounding good like that's introducing some white noise and things like that and that's pretty much it but again if you want i can give you my exact settings let me know down below in the comment section once i'm done click close and then boom again you don't need to monitor it you can do the audio monitoring turn it off and then boom again you can see the meter in obs as you can see if i scream one two three check one two check one two you know you can see it's kind of like have a limiter on so it's probably not gonna clip even now i'm talking really really loud now if i talk lower check one two check one two what is going on guys check one two what is going on guys what is going on guys what is going on guys you can see that it's boosting me and my voice is sounding really really good so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna test my shoe sm7b with my settings that i usually use so you guys can compare between the shoe sm7b and this microphone so this is my shoe sm7b and these are my actual settings with the roadcaster duo and imagine if i was podcasting or doing some other stuff all right this is what it would sound like. Now I'm gonna transition to the other mic. All right, so this is my Fafine $30 USB microphone with my settings in OBS on, and this is what it sounds like, okay? So let me talk low a little bit. This is my Fafine K669B USB microphone, $30. This is what it sounds like. 
this is why it sounds like if i talk louder this is why it sounds like if i talk louder so guys this is how you turn a 30 dollar microphone into a podcasting beast microphone let me know what you think down below in the comments if you want the exact presets that i use here i'm gonna try to save them and maybe share with you guys just let me know down below in the comments but other than that just having a microphone is not enough you're gonna need also to have a camera for your live streaming if you live streaming or podcasting doesn't matter and in my next video guys i'm gonna show you actually the camera that i use which is the sony zv e10 the camera that's filming right here and the best settings to make sure you get the best image out of that camera so that video is gonna be linked right here so make sure you check it out and i will see you there guys take care